Hey, I'm Alina. I'm a singer and an artist. I have a project called Iolite, which is kind of like dark pop. Skin and bones. And a project called Cool Maya, where I make music for ads. I'm Chris. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer. My wife and I also have a creative studio called Hi Hello Social, where we get to create content for brands. to start this channel that we can just kind of show what's going on and I, I feel like we just kept like getting in situations where it's like oh my god I want to like show people what we're doing I feel like to this day like our parents don't really even know what we do <laughs> so getting to show them is also really fun and then share it with our future kids one day and we talk a lot about creativity entrepreneurship and starting your own business and living that self a boy life so right now we're gonna head why do we keep doing that <laughs> So it is Friday and we're gonna go head to our favorite taco place in kind of our neighborhood. It's called Lady Bird Taco. So let's go. Freezing. I'm so hungry, we need to go. Yeah, it's the beginning of April here in Nashville and it's still cold outside. We were in Florida last weekend. And oh my gosh, it felt so good. And to be back here in the freaking cold. And to make things worse, allergy season. And your boy's getting wrecked. <laughs> taco right now <laughs> I'm stepping my coffee game up I never used to drink coffee or really like coffee at all she got me she got me going on coffee ready I'm convinced that my wife only married me this is probably this is a separate conversation for its own episode but I'm convinced she only married me to capture content for her that is my conspiracy. I shoot video stuff for her, tons of photos, and she wanted to take some photos after we got done eating. I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna start sending her invoices for all the all the shoots that we spontaneously do. How do you feel about that? Go for it. Same bank account. Can't wait for people to really just get to know you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and hear your story. Why me? <laughs> because she has a crazy story. She. She's Russian. She's a first generation born here. She's got five brothers. They were in like this band that toured everywhere. She grew up touring with them. She's been kidnapped and shot. Dead serious. So. Y'all are in for a wild ride. A wild yeah. ride. Yeah. Does anybody else drive with their leg up like this? I've been doing it since I like learned how to drive. It's just comfy. Last night I had some of my friends come over and we made these charm necklaces and it was so fun. If you're looking for like a fun girls thing to do, that was so worth it. We just went to the craft store and picked up like a bunch of little charms and made our own. It was so fun. I made like a, a pasta meal. We ended up walking over to our apartment complex. The rooftop has like a bar. So we just went and got a drink there. So I'm gonna make some coffee and I think today we're just gonna kind of take it easy and we have to do a, quite a bit of just like spring cleaning. So we're gonna take care of that. But so we have the Breville, I don't remember which version that we have but if you are looking into getting a espresso machine this baby this baby right here she has got us through how long have we had the coffee machine now like probably like two years and it's been amazing very much like classic I, I think a lot of people have it but yeah if you are looking for an espresso machine she's pricey but 
considering like I drink coffee every single morning, it's actually worth it. You're so weird. You look so cute. You're so Good cute. Good morning. Do you want to be in the vlog? Do you want to be in the vlog? Do you want to be in the vlog? Love you. Cheers. Cheers. I'm working on, so it's gonna be an EP of six songs plus an intro track. Theo, no. I'm rolling out every song off of the project, one song a month. So that's really exciting. I put out Skin and Bones like two weeks ago. And then we have my next song called Niskuchai. It's in Russian and it's translated don't miss me and that's coming out in two weeks yeah the visuals look pretty cool i was editing those last night and we got to use some, some ai and some generative fills like i think coming up to uh, a couple days i'll be 25 and i just like hit a point where i'm like this project feels different to me like it feels like adult like matured version of me that's a little bit more secure in like my messaging and what i'm passionate about talking about and like, I love that I get to talk about mental health and skin and bones, but then also do something really fun for Nyskuchai, like something feminine. The last song on the EP is actually one that I'm going to put out with my brother Ruslan and my sister-in-law Julie on the internet. The song ends in the lyrics, We were made for more, we were made for freedom. Yeah, we're running towards the upside down kingdom. Ugh, the fact that the whole project is gonna end on that song and on those lyrics it just like ties it perfectly into like what I feel called and like passionate about in my season of my life of like finding purpose and meaning in everything that I'm doing. God has a purpose for us and on this earth and so I just love that I get to bring that into this music in a way that's like still really artsy and fun and unique and at the heart of it that's what it's about. Yeah, this is the first time you've released like a project like this since. So I put out an EP after my kidnapping, which we'll get into that one day. Yeah, that's a whole episode <laughs> in of itself. But yes, if you haven't heard my EP, it's called Almost 20, and I wrote it after my near-death experience of getting kidnapped and shot. And that was the last project that I put out, and that was in 2020. I'm excited for it to just be like an actual body of work. So Working on this... This project, especially together, it's something that we get to kind of dream about and just see all the way through together. The awesome thing is all the content we shot for the project, we shot here in our apartment. And so we just kind of transformed our apartment into just a like a creative studio. Cool. Everything that we've like so far have gotten a chance to work on has been a little bit DIY and like the best way possible because I feel like a lot of the time it's easy to be like, oh, I can, if, if I had this equipment, if I had this, if I had this, then, then I can like finally pursue that thing. But it's like forced us to get really creative. We really don't take ourselves too seriously. And that's partially why we're brave enough to start new things. Like you and I were both like chance takers. What is it? Oh my, <laughs> chance. chance takers. I'm not sure what that is. Um, no. Risk takers? <laughs> Chance taker. English is not my first language, okay? As y'all are following along, I'm gonna be saying some things or some like cultural references or quote movies and she's gonna have no clue what I'm okay. talking about. I'm not that bad. Well, no, yeah, I think because we don't take ourselves too, I guess, serious, we don't get attached to things as much and so we're able to just try the new thing or go to the next thing. We just wanna try new things yeah. constantly, which is like, the good thing I think is, you know, when I look back at my life, I'm like 80 years old and I look back at my life, I wanna be able to look back and talk about the people that I met and the experiences I've yeah. had and the, the risks that I was able to take. And I mean, it, it helps being in Nashville too, as a creative. And I legit feel like I can throw a rock and hit another photographer. An you artist, can, obviously. Obviously an Songwriter, artist. like, it's <laughs> yeah. just crazy. And yeah, Nashville is really cool. Um, I love it here. I've been here for eight years. And like, there really is like a really sweet, like creative community here, but. I do have a thought. I was listening to a podcast. They were talking about this idea of if you're any kind of creative, should you live in a place like Nashville or a smaller city? Would that be good for your creativity? Would you get more clients? They were talking about how if you could create in a major 
city like that, you could do it anywhere. Yeah. Because it's so competitive, there's so many creatives, and there's so much work in a lot of these bigger cities. So they were encouraging people, like, don't run from the bigger cities where there's you feel like there's tons of creatives because there's there's plenty of work to go around. Like, if we were to move to, like, a new city that didn't have, like, a ton of creatives, right? Creatives like us, in the sense of, like, what we do, then I feel like there would be more work for us because we could, like, provide that and, like, fill a need, essentially, which is awesome. Like, Come here. But I think you're just saying that also don't be scared to, like, live in a big city and think that there's not going to be enough work for you. Uh, like, there's pros and cons to both, but... I mean, we've been... We've always been super open-handed with yeah. where we want to live and go. That... I've wanted to live by the beach my whole life. Yeah. So we're, gonna, we're gonna end up there one day. I've got some fun fun gigs coming up. I've got a shoot in... It's kind of tied to the NFL Hall of Fame for a nonprofit called Fun Recovery. We're doing some, like, interviews with a bunch of country artists and uh, NFL players and some Tennessee Titan players and Hall of Famers. So it's gonna be a fun, like, three-day shoot going on tour. He loves to say that. <laughs> I don't know why. He, this guy, he, like... That kind of talk has like been in like <clears throat> everybody here is on tour, and so I love to just say it and annoy everybody. But here it's not cool. Like it's yeah. not cool to say you're on tour. It's just like, oh, it's Monday. That's what it. That's literally well what because it's tour like. is not very it's glamorous. It's so common here. Well, like, but, everybody's come but comes back from tour. But, <laughs> like, but, I, but I keep saying it. But he goes on one tour and he's like. Yeah, I like, I just got back from tour. <laughs> like, it's like this yeah. cool thing. I was like, yeah, I had this, this one burger when I was on tour. It was like the best burger I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, like we stayed up late this one night on tour, just hanging out and talking about life. Such like, a man, bro. I'm just like, my time's just like so thrown off. Like, I'm just so used to like staying out late just from tour. <laughs> I just dropped it in every conversation just to annoy everybody. But yeah, probably the end of our vlog. How do these end? Thanks for watching. We're excited to start this little journey on YouTube. It's funny to say that because like we have no expectations or anything. It's just fun. So cheers. See you in the next vlog.